What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. This is probably going to be the most interesting tutorial I've done because this tutorial is going to be on techniques. And when I say interesting, I mean <laughs> how people are going to react to it because when I say techniques, I mean like window techs, CJ techs, locker techs, dumb techs. These are techniques that require a little more game knowledge to execute basically and I'm going to provide you today with the basic game knowledge for most of these techniques. We'll get to all of that and the timing and what I know about animations and collision and all that in the next few moments. So on the screen as always there is going to be timestamps indicating when I'm going to talk about each tech and yeah other than that like if you like subscribe if you like me and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so the first technique we're going to talk about is probably the most popular technique that you're familiar with, the majority of Dead by Daylight players are, and that is the window tech. Now window techs are probably like some of the coolest techniques because they actually rely on um, like a weird game physics that I don't really know what's happening on like a coding level or anything like that, but what I do know is that Dead by Daylight works with animations and what's happening is the killer loses collision for just a moment between when they're doing their window vault animation and when they can return to controlling their character once again. So at that moment, when the killer is about to exit their animation of vaulting is when they'll have no collision for just a second. Now the timing has to be just right because if you run into the killer too early, it gives collision from the window and for some reason it's it won't let you really pass through them in that instance where there is no collision you actually have to touch their body like at the instant they lose collision in order for the game to let you pass through and this is something that i don't really understand why but i do understand when now to be specific the moment that they they lose collision is the exact moment when control of the killer is returned to the killer after they've completed the vault. This is usually when they're able to look left or right if they're trying to chase you around shack. And yeah, that's probably gonna do it for that explanation. There's not really any other trick that I've learned other than just to learn the timing. It's just brute learning. It's all you can really do for this, in my opinion anyway. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna teach you is basically a, what I would call a locker tech. But the, the thing I'm going to show you can be used in multiple ways. The first thing that happens is I dodge a complete hit by jumping in a locker. Now the angle I used here is really poor. This isn't a normal situation that would happen. A killer would never run straight and hit a locker that you're clearly jumping into. But for the sake of the example, like I'm just mentioning it here and I'll exaggerate more on this strat of making a killer miss you when you jump in a locker later. Um, what I'm doing is jumping into the locker, number one, and if the killer had a poor viewing angle, unlike this example, they may swing and miss. As soon as A, the swing cools down, or if they don't swing, they approach the locker, what I'm doing is predicting when he's going to press space to open the locker, and I jump out. The killer doesn't grab you out of lockers with space, they grab you out of lockers with M1. So if they press spacebar, the game reroutes their spacebar to the pickup animation. Well, to the pickup action. And they pick up the survivor. And if you have a flashlight and an angle on the locker, you can instantly save that poor fool that was laying in front of a locker for some weird fucking reason. Probably because you're in a toxic swift, but uh, we're not really talking about that right now, are we? Okay, so the next tech that we're going to talk about is the CJ tech. The CJ tech is a pretty popular tech, I feel like, but it's a harder one to pull off. It's definitely one of the cooler techs, for sure, but uh, like I literally did, like it's the hardest one to pull off, I feel like. It's very similar to the locker tech in the sense that you're vaulting the pallet so that when the killer presses spacebar to kick the pallet, the game doesn't have that option for them to do that anymore, and the only thing left to do is to pick up the survivor it's going to be the pickup option and so they press space not knowing that the only option they have at that moment in time is to pick up the survivor if you don't have a flashlight you don't want to do this because you're just being an asshole and forcing the survivor to get picked up but if you do have a flashlight 
the killer is going to be facing you because they press space facing the pallet. So you can flashlight save instantly on this tech as well. There's not too much to be said about this tech. Like you have all you need to know except for one thing. And that is if you're going against a ranged killer like Deathslinger or Huntress, unless you think they're dumb or something, or maybe if they're out of hatchets, like if a Huntress is out of hatchets, maybe do it. But you don't want to CJ attack against somebody that's just going to use their M2 because they're not going to press spacebar then. They're going to chase you to the pallet and then you're going to stun them and you're going to vault over the pallet but they're immediately like going to wind up or aim down their sights. They're not going to press spacebar basically. So keep that in mind. Other than that, some of the strats are like if you can break line of sight as soon as you vault and pretend like you ran away and just come right back, that sometimes helps make the smarter killers think that you completely are not even going for a CJ tech when you are in fact going for a CJ tech. next clip it's not technically a, a tech i don't think but i mean anything can be a technique in dead by daylight just it's just anything can be a tech right but it's it's along the same lines as a locker tech in fact i would still call this a locker tech but it has a different purpose and a different outcome and so yeah basically what you do is you jump in a locker anticipating the killer is going to swing now this doesn't always work sometimes the killer is incredibly patient and you just get grabbed out of the locker. But hey, that's the, the techs have sacrifices. That's that's what they are. Basically, what you're doing is you're jumping in a locker, avoiding the first hit. Now, if they have save, you're in a little bit of trouble. But if they don't have save, the best for last, which means the recovery will be normal. It won't be faster at all after their swing. Uh, what you're going to do is jump out of the locker, turn and brush against the front of the locker, and then s basically 360 of the killer. You can spin around them and usually, in my experience, get enough distance to get to a pallet. Or in my case, get enough distance to run back around the locker and get yourself down. But anyway, that was just a quick explanation of that. I don't think it needs a lot of detailed description. Um, so yeah, another part of the locker tech. Now the last tech that I have to show you in this video is going to be something called the dumb tech. I'm almost completely sure this one was developed by Aaron, and if it wasn't, then he's the one who at least made it popular. It's a really simple tech, and it's called a dumb tech mostly because the killer is kind of dumb and impatient if it works on them. What it is, is just slamming the pallet on them and vaulting through them while they're in an animation, and during this time they lose collision. Since there's no collision, the killer's POV looks like the survivor is just like running through them, which you are. And an impatient killer for whatever reason i don't know why killers have this instinct they just instinctfully randomly swing behind themselves or to the left or to the right whichever way you baited to pretend like you were running now yeah that first example is really butchered but here's another example but uh yeah super simple you slam the pallet on them. if they have enduring i don't want to it's probably impossible it's probably impossible but uh at the very least enduring would make it more difficult that's that's about it for the dumb tech nothing special nothing complicated all right guys that's gonna do it for the tech video i realized there's a few techs that i left out like the Aaron tech which is basically just a moonwalk specifically used to like dodge billy chainsaws and things like that uh, i left out the healing tech where you yoink items from people and i left out the point tech or the item tech where you can fall and glitch back on top of an of an object uh, I mean, the second two are kind of controversial. I don't know if I want to teach people to steal items, and I don't know if I want to teach people to, like, kind of exploit. Teleporting back up is kind of an exploit. But uh, anyway, maybe I'll cover it later if it hasn't been patched already because the teleporting one's kind of broken. But, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.